Okay, we've got all our data manipulation done. Now let's clean up this spreadsheet and, and make it a little bit easier to read. Um, one of the first things we're going to see is if you look up here underneath the home where it gives the font, uh, the sales tax column we put in is actually a different font and a different size than the rest of them. So what we're going to do is click and drag and highlight all of those. And to change the font, we'll just go pull this drop down. Let's do Arial. And the size of everything else is 10. So we'll do that to make sure everything's the same font and size. And let's add a little shading just to make it a little bit easier to read. So I'm going to click on H3 here and drag over. And then underneath the font over here, we're going to pull down the fill color. And I don't doesn't really matter to me what color you choose. I'm just going to pick a light blue. And now you can do that to every other row if you want. Or you can click on here the paintbrush, the format painter. And if you click it once, it'll apply that format once. Um, if you select everything again and double click the format painter, it'll apply that format as many times as you want. So I'm just going to go through and click all the odd numbered rows here. Okay, and then let's give our headers a little different Oh, and to turn that off, you have to double click the Format Painter again. So let's, whoops. And all I did, I accidentally clicked and applied that format over here. I hit Control Z to undo that. I'm going to grab all of my headers. And let's go to the fill color for that, make it a little darker blue. And next to it here is the font color. And I'm just going to change that to white. So it stands out a little. And I want our totals to stand out a little as well. So I'm going to drag these. Click and drag starting on the top. And go down to here. Let's just grab all of them. And I'm going to change that font underneath Arial here to a bold. And I'll do that on these as well. Just so they stand out a little bit more. And next I'm going to grab all of these and once again in the same font panel here these are the borders and I'm gonna turn them all on you can do all kinds of variations of borders just the top just the bottom just the outsides I'm just gonna turn them all so everything is separated and on row 44 here I'm gonna highlight that and do a double bottom border just so it's obvious that that's the end of the sheet and while I'm at it tell you what I'm gonna grab this one double click that format painter again and make those blue
and that should be pretty good to clean it up for now. Now it's a lot easier to read. You can read across the rows. Oh, one more thing we need to do. Sorry. I'm going to highlight all of my unit price, total, and sales tax. And then right click on that. Go to Format Cells. We're going to make that currency because that's what it is. And the symbol defaulted to none. We're going to put the dollar sign in front of everything. There we go. And one more thing real quick. I'm going to grab all of our headers again. And say we do want to be able to sort all this stuff really quickly. You can right click on columns or click on any column really and go to sort and filter and it'll sort everything automatically. The sort and filter is right up here to the right. I guess it's not through the right click anymore. Um, there's a much easier way to do it though. If you highlight these and just click sort and filter and go to filter. Now you can change any of these. Let's say we want to filter it by region. We can turn off everything but central and it'll show us just the columns, the rows that contain central. Um, you, we, so we could do that by rep and whatever. It's Sometimes it's easier to use the pivot table for that, especially for large amounts of data. If you're just going to look through something really quick, sometimes it's easier to to just go through and adjust those filters. Um, and once again, I'm going to click between the columns and make sure that all of my headers are readable. And actually, that one got a little bit too big, so I'm just going to drag it back. Okay, and that looks good. So, all we'll have left is saving it.